hands are back. And what does that look like? Almost nothing, right? That's an HDPE hinge that we put in there when our hinge broke. And we're going to show you how to do it. I love these things. Less resistance than a foam hinge and snap back to center. Yeah, baby. Today we're here with a Stearman. And this baby, the tail broke off. It fell off its perch. And it was a bit of a drop to the floor. We have crash proofing rods in, but that doesn't keep it from tearing the rudder off, does it? Normally I would do this with the contact cement repair and just leave all the rough stuff on. But this way we clean the rough stuff off first and make it nice and smooth. And then we install our hinge into one side and then into the other. This is a little piece of HDPE. We sell sheets of it. You can use milk bottle plastic. Of course, it doesn't come in black like this does, but hey. So I've already prepped this piece. The whole thing's like 5 eighths wide, and I creased it down the middle with the back of a knife, right? So it knows where to fold. So the exposed part of this is going to be 3 30 seconds wide, which would be 3 64 on each side of the crease. And then we take our little knife, and we clean off all this rough stuff here. And we want to clean off this side, which is pretty flat the way it is. Okay, so now what I need to do is to make a cut right down the center. Let's check the piece to see if it fits the slit. So we're going to use a 1x3 piece of carbon fiber as a spacer that we put on the side right here. And we fold the hinge at a 90 degree angle and have that 1x3 in there so that the fold itself is this far away from the back of the foam. Now remember, put a tooth on it. Use a rod or a piece of HDPE to work the glue into the slit. You just slide it over, push it in, slide it over, push it in. Now you immediately wipe off the excess and then immediately thereafter get more excess off with a piece of tape. Now we get some glue onto our hinge and we slide it into that slit. We don't want to give this a whole lot of time to set up. And you want to visually check it to make sure that your crease line is that little bit of distance away from the back of this foam here. Let's make sure it's where the spacer bar is, right? Make sure that that fits in there. And then open it up a bit, pull out the spacer bar, and let that sit for, let's say, an hour to be safe. And we use the same straight edge we used on the other one, and then slit. Oh yeah, baby, like that. Okay, so here it is all ready to put the tail on. This is dry, and we did a little coloring with a little black magic marker on the back of this and on the white part of this so that when you put it all together, it looks like the black stripe goes right up to there. Ooh. So we're gonna put the glue in here the same way that we put it in there. We put some glue onto the tab. We're gonna wait like 30 seconds or something. While we're waiting, why don't we touch up our black? Let's put it on. And then we work this into position and get it where we want it. Check everything, make sure it's all nice. Make sure it's centered. Give it a few squeezes. So there it is. This is the finished product. We let it sit for about an hour, maybe a little more. This is now glued on big time. You can't pull this off. You can't break this. Not the way you break these or any other hinge you can put on a plane. So this is a nice feature. Snap back to center because it's a straight piece of plastic that wants to go back to the shape it was. And when you put them on some other surface, you don't need to fill up the whole surface. And you might want to sand it down a little bit to either make it thinner or cut pieces out of it or something like that to make it less resistant to your servo so that it doesn't need to work so hard. And that's it. We'll see you on the fly line. <laughs>